can't quite believe I'm saying this. Uh, hello, I'm Nathan Judah. I'm here with Wolves reporter Mr. Liam Keane. Um, Wolves 2, Leeds 4. Um, this could be a long video. Sum that up because I'm, I'm lost for words on a variety of subjects, to be honest, uh, Liam. But I've got to say, and I'll tweet this after the game, regardless, and we're going to go through what was fair, what was unjust, what was, what was right, what was a complete disgrace. Wolves cannot blame anyone else apart from themselves. They have conceded four goals at home to Leeds United who were scraping for their lives at the bottom of this Premier League after a, a defeat against Bournemouth. That is completely unacceptable for me. You're totally right. We'll come on to those other situations, but I'll sum it up as this. The Wolves were not good enough in both boxes today. That is that is the long and short of this of this performance and this result. You can't create that many chances and not score and of course win the game. One. Two, you cannot defend the way you did for the first three goals, yeah. and particularly the second and third. The defending was atrocious. By, by different individuals. No, I could I can name several players yeah. for you. It was it wasn't just one player, there were several players all over the place. The defending was atrocious, you cannot miss that many chances and expect to win a game mm. and that is that, that's the long and short of it we'll come to the other decisions and you're totally right a lot of them were absolutely farcical once again but we have to be fair here yeah. and say Wolves regardless of those decisions should and could have won this game not lost 4-2 um, I mean look they go 1-0 down early again poor defending yeah. way way too easy far too easy non to on tomato on that right it's far too easy way too easy and then we'll, we'll let, let's come to the, the first i guess the first talking point which is nelson tomato in the opposite box um look we've seen the replays it looked like a foul to me um, it looked like to the rest of the media box it like a foul we've seen the replays uh i can half understand the referee not giving it but again we're going back to var and for, for me that's a nailed on penalty and it's a very brief check isn't it very brief var check and then and then we get on as usual i mean i think it's a penalty as well i agree with you um I, again it's similarly to, to what you think you know it, it's not quite as clear cut as let's say the newcastle one last week but you know <laughs> We're pulling the straws here. I mean, it's, it's a penalty. Um, I think from the tweets I've got, the majority of um, you know, broadcasters uh, in and around the building as well are all saying it's a penalty. Lopti and his staff clearly think it's a penalty. Uh, the analysts up in the box here all think it's a penalty. What else can I say? I just, it's it's, it's I incredible. It's incredible, really. But look, we, we go we, we go into the rest of the first half, and yep. Wolves and Wolves play some good football. Let, let's did, be yeah. honest. Yep. They play some good football. They dominated the game. They created chance after chance after chance. Not clear cut, which we keep on talking about. Yeah. I don't think Melly had to make too many saves yeah. today, but they got to score in that period and they didn't. They didn't score. Yes, Leeds were going down, they were taking the time, and the referee was weak. Let's be honest, he was weak. He let things go, then he gave bookings, and he was all over the place. He lost control over that game. But regardless of that, you go into the second half. For me, I said to you, I said to you, this is now must not lose territory now. What you cannot do is you cannot lose this game. So go and draw 1-1, at least keep them where they are. 3-0 Leeds. To go 3-0 down against Leeds, that's where they've lost the game and they deserve. If you go 3-0 down to Leeds at home, you deserve to lose any game. And that is two awful pieces defending. And the third, don't get me started. Spot on. I mean, but both the second and the third for me are absolutely criminal. Um, Ailing should not be allowed to ghost in the back post the way he did. I think it was Gomez who could have um, who could have chapped the run, let him go. Um, look, it's a really poor goal to concede. The second one, Christensen. I mean, he's probably 30 seconds after coming on, if that. Uh, goes into right wing back, they change to a back five, they're 2 0 up. They're, they're probably expecting to, to hopefully coast through the half or at least keep it tight and, and win the game. And Johnny just gets all, all up in himself, all in a mess. It was awful with us. Gets bullied, awful, knocked yeah. over. I mean, just come on the pitch. I, I know, mean, literally I know, seconds. And, and then Rasmussen just, it, it's, you know, it's, it's a good finish, but he shouldn't be allowed to have no. that position in the first place. At 3 0, we're thinking this is an absolute disaster. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, we'll get back into the game again. And, and, and we're playing some really good football. Adama was making more of an impact than Neto and Pedence did combined in or their top pitch or Semedo on it you know so Wolves got themselves into a position where they could and probably should have equalised okay so let's go let's go back so you're 3-0 down okay um, like I say Gomez nightmare the ailing, the ailing goal is an absolute joke by the way yeah, it's bad. then you've got Johnny who's had an absolute stinker and let's be honest he had an absolute stinker throughout for me um, then you get Regard a Johnny goal. goal regardless, regardless yeah, of exactly. the goal pot shot Johnny uh, Melly it's mistake. a great finish yeah it's yeah, a great finish but, but regardless yeah. whatever then he gets sent off so we look at it VAR of course VAR made the right decision today well done everyone uh, which was uh, which was Johnny 
20 cents off. No arguments whatsoever. No, no. It's, it's, it's a red, clear red. He's walking off. There's 20 odd minutes to go. You're down with 10 men. You want to, you know, so, so you've, you've obviously got it cut, work cut out. Then, oh, goodness me, it's so much going on. Couldn't you score? Where will strike a scored for the first time in over a calendar year? Wolves back in it. And then you hear Molyneux. Molyneux goes absolutely mental. And whether it's 11 versus 10, it looked like Leeds had 10 men, to be honest, because they were all over them. And like you say, you're completely right in what you say. Dan Troy, I thought, was superb again today. The catalyst of everything that came good at Wolves. They looked so much, so, they, they looked like they could have scored four, five, six. And then, and then explain to me what happened at the end. Explain to me, first of all, the fourth goal. Then, then it goes to VAR. Honestly. The pull. We can actually see the pull back in the shirt. We can see that. We. Can, I mean, it's just the most obvious, obvious, obvious foul in a million years. Referee comes over, looks at it, sees it. F you, Wolves. I'm not giving this. I'll give you. I'll give you the goal. Honestly. I'll give you the goal. And then pandemonium on the bench. And then it just goes from. From bad to worse. From bad to if I don't, if I don't laugh, I'll cry. And, yeah. and that's why I, it, it, it is laughable. So we see all of this erupted in front of us. We're watching replays. Think, what the bloody hell's going on here? Somerville put, pulls back on the Dharma. I think. I mean, it's literally, it's literally like that. I mean, it's that bad. I mean, it is, it is, it is a, it is a foul. It's I mean, a there's, 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 there's no, there's no. I have to laugh because honestly, it's incredible how we get to this point yeah. every week. Now, I know fans are going to turn around and say, watching this video, you can't keep blaming referees. We've already well, said at the top of this blamed, video yeah. that Wolves should have done a lot better in both boxes, but you allow us this moment here to talk about referees and VAR once again being subpar. It's as simple as that. It's a foul. Wolves go mental. Rodrigo goes through, scores, good finish, whatever. Wolves are going mental on the, on, on the bench. Neto's up, Pedence is yeah. in there, N Nunes is in there, Lopetegui and his coaches are all in there, all going mental. Yeah. Lopetegui's going, VAR, check it, check it, check it. He's like, he's, a, he's right in front of the box. Guaranteed foul, guaranteed foul. The fact, and don't, I don't understand, every time a referee gets called over to the monitor, mm. a decision gets overturned. Michael Salisbury is told, every time. Is, is told to come to the yeah. monitor. He comes to the monitor, he spends at least a minute, <laughs> if not longer, looking at it. Every time it's overturned. After replay, after replay. I've never seen a moment they've gone to the monitor and not overturned it. I might be wrong, but I've never seen it. Maybe he, he turns once in a blue moon. He turns around and gives the goal. I don't understand it. I, he's stood there watching it. But it's it. a stunning. It's, a it's so obvious. And I don't, I don't really don't get it. Um, look, regardless of that, were Wolves going to score a late goal and get three three? Probably not, because the, you know they were they were struggling at that point, and it may have been inconsequential in the end. But unfortunately, it's another mistake that we have to highlight. And are the PGM out or MOL or Howard Webb going to come out and say anything publicly? No, they'll just say sorry, sorry, sorry guys. You know, we'll, sorry. We'll, we'll, we'll try to do it next time. It's sorry, not it's not good enough. And and then obviously, Premier League status is on the line. Every single thing counts. But sorry. And then, and then and then what's happened because of that? Right at the end, Mateus Nunes has been given a straight red. He's um, I, I haven't seen it. Uh, some colleagues of mine have seen it and um, think. And I say at this point, think because we need to double check the facts. But think that he's at least barged, if not pushed, the linesman. If that is the case, he's absolutely deserving of that red card, and he's, a, and he's an absolute idiot for doing it. So that is a massive mistake from him, if he, if he has done that. You cannot push officials, regardless of their mistakes. Well, you and, can. And you he, can push and, them. And he no, you can push them. No, you can push them. He deserves a red card. If you're a top six club, if you're Bruno Fernandes, you can go and push whoever you want, because well. that's what he did, and he didn't even get booked. So it's fine. So it's top six bias. It's an absolute pissing joke, Liam. It's mate, I, an absolute I, joke. I can't, I can't even come back and argue against no. that point, but unfortunately in this isolated incident, Nunes, yeah. if that is what he's done, he deserves a red card. He's then gone insane. I mean, Costa's having to drag him back. He's trying to run over to the linesman and say something. I mean, all over the place. I think we get to about 12, 12 and a half minutes and added time. By the end, Wolves had a corner, but it didn't really come close. And then the game's done and we're stood here again having the same conversations. And I'll reiterate, Wolves are not good enough in both boxes today. Have to do a hell of a lot better if they're staying up, but they're not being helped. Mm. They're, if anything, they're being massively hindered by errors and mistakes going against them. I mean, we'll, 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 we'll soon hear from June Lopetegui and I'm sure he's absolutely fuming. I'm sure he'll want to say a lot more than what he actually does in the press conference, I can guarantee you that. Most likely. Um, look, it's getting, it's getting, it's getting to nitty gritty now, Liam. They've got Nottingham Forest away. Somehow at this moment in time, still they're 13th in the table. Um, Leeds have gone a point behind them, but it's getting very, very tight. Leeds got a game hand, by the way. Yeah, well. got, a lot of them have got a game yeah. hand over Wolves yeah. at this moment in time. So, People have got to start taking responsibility themselves here. Yeah. You know, they've got to start standing up and they've got to they've got to stand and be counted starting at Notting Forest. Because if you don't, and to be honest, there were a lot of people hiding away there today. You cannot go down 3-0. There are a lot of people not taking responsibility of their roles. If you carry on doing that, Wolverhampton Wonders will go down this season. 
you know we talk about them being too much you know, having too much and i think that they'll stay up but if they continue putting in displays like that bournemouth at home leeds at home these are the games you look back on and and, and that, those are the games that are going to cost you you've now got to go to Nottingham forest and you've got to really put your chest out stick them out and and do something for these fans because it cannot continue and they are they're, they're in a lot of trouble the, this opportunity in the last couple of weeks is probably one of two or three opportunities Wolves have had to genuinely drag away from this relegation mm -hmm. fight. And on each of these occasions, this one included, they've been dragged right back into yeah. it. Um, and they need to now take a long, hard look in the mirror. And, yeah. and, and, and they've got and, a bit of time to do it as well. And, and they've got enough time, which in, in some ways I think it's probably a good thing they've got this break because I think they need it. Um, they've got this break now, they can take stock, the manager can get into them, and I think he will. And, um, and it wasn't good enough from too many individuals today. I mean, I, I can drag out a positive report. I thought Kilman had some good moments today. Um, Neves did well. Gomez, aside from that ailing goal, um, I, I thought did well in midfield. But I'm, I'm really scraping the barrel here for, for positives because Wolves should not be losing this. And this isn't sour great because Leeds have won the game. But Leeds are not a very good side. No, they're terrible. Leeds, Leeds, were, Leeds were poor for large periods of this match today. And a mixture of good finishing and very poor defending saw them go through in your life. Yeah. Um, we've got fans outside before we go, um, using the C word. Different C word I was using, um, to be honest, uh, when I was watching that referee punt. Using the C word with, with the referees, with VAR, with everything that's going on. Um, where do you stand on that? I, we cannot stand here as, as objective journalists and, and accuse referees of bias or corruption. I think that's, un, I, I think that's unwarranted. Um, but you have to question, and people have to start talking publicly, why so many high-profile decisions are going against Wolves. I will reiterate my point from last week at Newcastle. It's not only Wolves, it has happened to other clubs, and it will happen to other clubs. But a lot of the biggest decisions this season, biggest errors, have gone against Wolves. Do you feel there's unconscious bias at this moment in time? And what I'm saying is, is you're, you know, Wolves are obviously very vocal on on referees um, during the game and after the game and the, yeah. absolutely and you feel it's almost like a collective agreement they're very tight the referee system and whether you're sub, sub, subconsciously or not VAR referees right you've had a go at us you've shown us up we, we're not going to give you a thing and you think it's almost like a do you know what I mean a slight bias there even though they would never ever admit that I, I'm never I would never ever get into that conversation but I'm starting to think that there's something going on. Honestly, I am. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going down the corruption line. I'm not going down the line. But I think there's an unconscious bias. I honestly do. Because time and time again, this is a massive, massive issue. Yeah. Well, Michael Salisbury, you said didn't have control of this game. There was a moment, I think about 35 minutes in, when I turned to you and said, the referee has got absolutely no control of this game. That was, that was verbatim the sentence I said. No control of this game at all. He was panicking with decisions, giving silly bookings and yellow uh, and free kicks all over the place um, not controlling uh, the emotions of the game and allowing the game to flow but flow in a fair capacity he was all over the shop but it's not the only one Refer every referee I mean they're just weak that's what they are they're not good enough to, to do the job and unfortunately there is no one else to do the job I wouldn't want to do the job but unfortunately I've not made the decision to get on the pitch and do it these people have chose, chosen to do this job and they can't do it um, it's time for Howard Webb the PGO MOL to come out and put a statement out and give some sort of explanation whether it's Wolves related or not whether it's an overarching statement give some sort of explanation or guarantee or or make them up make them up to see exactly what, what's exactly. been said or VAR or what are you saying what are you hearing what are you talking to the players about put make them, them in up. front of us yeah let, yeah. Us, let us interview yeah. them I'm not going to stand there and be biased with a, with a referee no, of course I'm frustrated and angry with the decisions today but I'm not going to stand there and, 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 and shout and scream at him no, be like, I'm the gonna, players you show respect I'm going to show him respect give him an opportunity to explain himself and question some of the decisions but the, every other walk of life you do and the referee's going to weigh scot free what, I said this after the Newcastle game I'll say it again what did Ruben ever say to me after the Forest Cup game well, I'm standing here explaining to you why the referee said it and he's not stood to himself it's a disgrace so leave it on that um, I'm sure hopefully we've conveyed our thoughts look it's, it's straight after the game so sometimes we need a bit of time to to, to get our heads together but um, as you can understand it's very emotional here today uh, Wolves 2 Leeds United 4 for all the post-match reaction make sure you log on to expressandstar.com